going on YouTube? Back again for another quick video and about two months ago I actually hit 150 subscribers on the YouTube, my fitness, uh, East Coast Fitness YouTube channel so thank you very much for that and I put out a video asking for some questions to do a Q&A sorry that it's taken so friggin long but I had a plan to print off some stickers um, and send them out to everybody that asked a question can't get a hold of the company that I was dealing with so we're gonna have to do that for the next video so that's some shitty news happy to say now that two months later we are at 217 subscribers so thank you to everybody that subscribed to the channel really do appreciate it and before we get too mushy let's answer some questions so I just set my laptop right here We've got all kinds of questions to answer Kevin Clements wants to know did I participate in any sports um, when I was a minor that led to my fitness passion today? Really good question. Um, and before I started working out, I used to play. I played hockey for 10 years. Um, not really competitively, just more like a, just for fun, I guess. Just growing up as a kid playing hockey in Canada. I think almost every Canadian kid does that. So. I also played high school rugby. Uh, I played sevens and fifteens. I did a little bit of Muay Thai, a little bit of soccer. No football, no baseball. Uh, that's just about it. Um, and I fell in love with working out long after I actually quit playing sports. So there isn't really any direct correlation between the two. Gary Brown. They say you can't make it. They say your dreams are too big. They say a bunch of things to get you to stop believing. Wants to know, what is it like to collab with other YouTubers? Uh, so there's two that I've collabed with so far. One uh, is Ga <clears throat> excuse me, Gage, who I've been working out with long before our YouTube channels even existed. And uh, always have a good workout with Gage. He's awesome to work out with. Um, and then I worked out or I trained with Devin from Island Aesthetics in Charlottetown and it was a fantastic workout but my favorite part about it was that you actually had somebody to talk about YouTube to. Um, all your friends kind of get tired of hearing about YouTube, your channel, your subscribers and shit that you see on YouTube but if you got, if I'm on YouTube and they're on YouTube it's like we're both in the same universe kind of deal like we can constantly talk back and forth. We talked about some of your guys' channels, some of the things that we liked, uh, the things we've learned on YouTube, our goals. So training with another subscriber, uh, another creator is friggin' awesome. And if you do get the chance to collab with somebody, highly recommend it. Fat Boy Fitness Journey Vlogs. Joe Sticks! Fat Boy Fitness Journey Vlogs wants to know what are your favorite lifts and do you have any lifts that you just absolutely hate? So two lifts, two lifts that I absolutely hate. Uh, one is dips. I cannot stand doing dips. I do them all the time, but I just feel like they do more damage than good. Although they are a very good shaper for your lower chest and you can hit your triceps really well with them. Secondly, bent over dumbbell rows. I have absolutely no idea why I don't like doing them. I'm pretty strong with them. Um, I just they take a lot out of me, I guess, so I don't really like to do them. And uh, yeah, those are the two lifts. Favorite lifts that I love to do, uh, bench dead and squat. There's the three, and I know that's a generic answer, but I've always loved bench pressing. I think pretty much everybody does. Deadlifting has always been my strongest lift. Uh, the most I've ever done was 465. Right now I'm working right back up to 425. Uh, and then squats. Something about squatting when you're done. You just feel like you came out of battle. I have absolutely no idea what it is. I don't even know how to explain it, but I love squatting. So, two least favorite lifts. Uh, chin up, or not chin ups. Ah, I hate chin-ups too, but dips and dumbbell rows, and then the three lifts that I love the most, bench, dead, squat. <laughs> fitness Assassin went on a tirade on my comment section. Dion with Fitness Assassin, and I'm back with another one. Another one. So we'll speed answer these. 
Question number one, how many hats do I own? 12 to 15, I got a hat for every different thing that I do. Uh, what was your nickname in school? Uh, the only nickname I ever had was Squishy. When I was playing rugby, we used to have a play. It was like this, right out of the scrum where I would just run and squish through people. Front wheel drive cars or rear, rear wheel drive cars? Always, always, always a rear wheel drive car. Um, if you can find one that fits your price point. I had a Chrysler 300, which was rear wheel drive, and I had a Cadillac Catera, which was rear wheel drive, and those were my two favorite cars I've ever owned. <sighs> Slow dancing or dirty dancing? Uh, dirty dancing, obviously. Almond butter or peanut butter? There's only, I hate almond butter. Um, peanut butter is, I put peanut butter on everything, so I use the, it's called whipped peanut butter, and it is amazing. iPhone or Android? Android. Two ply or single ply TP, two ply, three ply if you can. Are your parents still together? Yes. Um, what was your first job? First job I ever had was working at McDonald's. And funny story, I actually got fired because we used to take a cheese slice and pickles and we would throw them up in the ceiling and they'd get stuck on the ceiling. So anyways, we were doing this out back and I turned around and my manager was right behind me hand. Probably the best thing that ever happened to me. Grey Wolf Fitness. Uh, who is one of my favorite channels. Wants to know who would you like to collab with if you could pick any YouTuber? Ooh, that's a tough one, Craig. I would pick, I would pick, I would pick. If I could pick any lifter, it would be Stan Efferding. Uh, no question about it. Stan Efferding is an absolute beast. Professional bodybuilder and world's strongest bodybuilder. But as for YouTuber, if I could pick any YouTuber, it would probably be Chris Jones from Pump Chasers or originally from Physiques of Greatness. He's probably one of my main inspirations and one of the reasons why I started my channel, which I should have started three years earlier. So, Chris Jones, POG. Last one, Phenom Fitness. At your current state, what is your current bench, squat, and deadlift maxes? Okay, so two-part question, I guess. Because I made this video two months ago, my lifts have actually gone up. When I made this video, I could bench 315 and I still bench like 325. My bench hasn't gone up a whole lot in the last five years. Uh, deadlifting, it went from uh, 405 to 435. And squatting, it went from 285 to 325. So I went up 50 pounds, no, 40 pounds. 40 pounds, it's, I went up 70 pounds in the last two months, but that's only because it's coming back to me. I just started squatting again, so my deadlift is going up, obviously my squatting is going up as well. So that's it, 150 subscriber q and I completely apologize for taking so long to do it. Probably wait until we hit 500 subscribers, which should be, my goal right now is to hit 600 subscribers by the end of the year, so we have uh, five months to get another four, a little under 400 subscribers, so completely doable. We're going to keep pumping out new content. Thanks to everybody that has asked questions and dropped comments on this video and all of my videos, and we'll see you in the next video. Peace.